There are a couple of ways to go when canning vegetables. You can do a hot pack or a raw pack. Now essentially the difference is whether you cook or partially cook the vegetables before putting them in the jar, or pack them raw and then add boiling water. We're going with a hot pack today because you can get more beans in the jar. For the hot pack, cover beans in the pot with the boiling water and boil for five minutes. Take the jars from the hot water one at a time as you need them. A jar filler helps keep the rim of the jar clean. We then fill the hot beans into our hot jars with a slotted spoon, leaving one inch headspace. For our beans, we have decided to add a half teaspoon of canning salt to each jar. It's just there for the taste and is optional. Now we cover the hot pack beans with our boiling hot cooking liquid, still leaving that one inch headspace. When packing food into jars, leave the required headspace. That's completely empty space between the top of the jar and the food because it will expand during processing. Too much headspace and the jars may not seal. Too little and the liquid may boil out of the jars. Check each jar to be sure the beans are covered with liquid. Any exposed food could eventually develop a dark color or off flavor if it's sticking up above the liquid. We use this plastic bubble freer to liberate any bubbles trapped down in between and around our beans. Gently run your bubble freer down and around the jar to release any trapped air and make sure that all the spaces are filled with water. Readjust the headspace with more hot cooking liquid or water if needed. The hot water should cover the tops of your beans. If it doesn't, you might want to remove a few beans. Any beans left out of liquid will dry out and discolor during storage. Next, we clean the rim of the jar with a dampened paper towel. This will help to ensure a good seal with the lid. Particles of food, liquid, or salt remaining on the rim can prevent a vacuum seal from forming.